Hello and welcome. Today I am going to show you how to set up a D and SFML project. The plan for today is to install SFML library, then we're going to configure the w.json file, and finally we're going to open a window and display a texture. So let's go ahead and install the SFML library. We're going to use the bindbc SFML package on the D side, but we still need to install the SFML and C SFML libraries. So if you're on Linux or macOS, then you can use your default package manager and install the necessary libraries. If you are on Windows, then it's a bit different and I'm going to show you right now what you need to do. So head over to the SFML website and then click on download. Then click on bindings and find the CSFML bindings. Click on that. And then scroll a, a little bit down and I'm going to download the CSFML 2.5. So choose your version. I'm going to download the 64-bit version and unzip the file. So this is what you've got. You have the DLLs and you have the lib files. So open your projects folder and then what you need to do is you need to copy the lib msvc csfml audio graphics network system.lib into your projects folder. So copy those. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to copy the DLLs as well. So go to bin and copy these files. Now you need to copy these DLLs to the same folder where your executable is located. So I'm going to create a bin folder. That's where DAP will put my executable. I will configure this later, so just copy these DLLs into this folder. In case you do not want to use the bin folder, you can still just copy these DLLs into your work, into your projects folder. Just remember that these DLLs must be in the same directory as your binary, as your executable. So close the archive. And now we can return to our project. So the next step is to configure the dub2json file. The first thing I will do is I will tell dub to put the binary, the executable it compiles into a bin folder. This is not a necessary configuration. This is just something I prefer. So the next thing we need to do is to configure the versions. So just head over to the bindbc, bindbc sfml github page and scroll down. We are going to configure sfml to link statically. So it is going to be statically linked. So scroll down, find the static bindings. So let's head over here and this is what we need to copy versions and libs sections. So copy those and then paste these configurations into your dub.json file. So we are telling dub to link SFML statically and then we are telling dub which components of the SFML library to use. So we're going to use audio, graphics, then there is also network, system, and finally, window. And since we're using all five components, then we'll also need to link all of the libraries. So CSFML 
network csfml system and finally csfml window so we're telling dub to link our libraries statically and use all of the five components and then and then we also specify the libraries dub needs to link so the csfml audio graphics network system and window so these are the libraries it will link into our binary and then these dll's will be used during the runtime so save it and the final step we need to do is to add the bind bc sfml package that's it so here it is so close your dub to json file and then import bind bc sfml try to compile and run no errors all right so it compiles and links the libraries correctly so let's create our windows so i will import string to string z we need this in order to convert our d string into a c string since we're using the csfml bindings i will i'm going to delete this and let's create a few constants. Now let's create our window. So auto window sf render window create. And then it takes in, so let's open the CSFML documentation, tutorials, and then open and managing SFML window. So, It takes in a SF video mode, and that is a window and height. Then title dot to string Z. Then it also needs a style. And in CSFMO, that is a SF SF window style that is an enum and default and the last argument is a, is some context let it be now for now and then scope exit we need to destroy the render window and release the resources so render window destroy window that's it Let's try to compile and run our project. No property default. Oh, so it is SF default style. Did you see the window? All right, let's continue. So the next step is to create a game loop. So while sf render window is open window then sf event event while window oh that's going to be sf render window Oh, event event and that is probably a pointer yes it should be a pointer 
so and it takes in a window as well so you see since we're using the C bindings uh, it follows uh, this structure so a self render window the class name the function and then it takes in the arguments so our window instance and then the event and in C++ it's just uh, window.pol event so you can easily translate the C++ version into C but if you need more documentation then you can probably find it in the csfml github page yeah here and maybe here as well so yeah so here is an example a c example so you can use this one if you need if you need it and then there are also hmm, no examples here well, anyways, let's get back. So while poll event, if event dot type is so, let's check this out. So if event dot dot type is sf event closed, then we can do sf render window close window so we close the window otherwise we sf sf render window clear so we clear the window sf black then we draw something and then we do sf render window display window all right let's try to compile this and run it yes so here is our window so let's try to load the texture and display it onto our window so close it oh yes so we need to close it this way if we want to use the keyboard keys then it's a bit different. So else if event dot key dot code and that should be SF key code dot SF key and then the key code. In my case I'm going to use the escape key in order to exit as well. So let me actually copy this and I will cut this out. The first thing we need to do is to check if the event type is SF event key pressed. And then here we need to check if it is event escape. And if it is true, then we do render close. So I will copy this here as well. Copy, paste. Now we should be able to use the escape key now. Escape? Yes, it works. So let's load the texture. Auto texture equals sf texture create from file and that is going to be images so I will use this image here images.jpg and now And then the next thing we need to do is we need to create a sprite, auto sprite, sf sprite create. And then we need to create, no, we need to set the texture. So sf sprite set texture. And we need to pass in the sprite, the texture, and sf true. Well, let it be true. Oh, 
and then we should not forget to destroy the texture and to destroy the sprite as well, right? Yes, so... So, scope, exit, sf, texture, destroy, texture, and then I will copy this and paste it here as well. But in this case, it's gonna be sf sprite destroy and sprite. Now, when we exit the scope, we destroy the window, destroy the texture and destroy the sprite. Now, let's get down here and draw our texture to the screen. So, onto our window, sf render window draw sprite and then it needs a window sprite and null great so let's try to compile and run it undefined undefined identifier oh so it's render not render Render window. Dub. Yes. So here's our window, our texture. We're done. So this is how you set up a DSFML project using the CSFML library, graphics library. So that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and see you next time. Have a nice day.